The spacesuit is always the center of attention, whether the scenario is based on science fiction or reality. It is commonly known that seeing astronauts in more advanced spacesuits bring us delight and motivation. The new SpaceX spacesuit design is unique compared to anything NASA or anybody else has ever created for what it is. You won't believe your eyes when you see the high-tech spacesuit from SpaceX, which has many special features like touchscreen compatibility, dynamic heat management, etc. The new SpaceX suit looks more like it suits a science fiction film. It's great. What sets this cutting-edge spacesuit apart from others, and what part does it play in space travel's advancement? The SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft will carry U.S. astronauts for the first time since the era of the space shuttle a decade ago on May 27, marking both NASA's first commercial crew voyage and the last time astronauts have launched from American soil in almost 10 years. In comparison, the orange shuttle flight suit worn by astronauts when they launch from Florida's Kennedy Space Center and any other spacesuits used by astronauts from other countries would make consistent space watchers notice that the crew, on astronauts Bob Benken and Doug Hurley, were wearing something more than the usual spacesuits. The bulky space shuttle suits known as the Advanced Crew Escape Suits ACES, are replaced by the white, one-piece SpaceX suits. The new SpaceX spacesuit was so thin when it was first unveiled. Elon Musk, the company's founder, had to convince concerned Instagram followers that it was unquestionably effective and that even if you stepped into a vacuum chamber, you wouldn't be damaged. Let's define what a spacesuit is before we get swept up in its attraction. Astronauts use spacesuits also known as EMUs, or Extravehicular Mobility Units, to protect themselves from the harsh conditions of space including the vacuum and the severe temperatures. The spacesuit is necessary for extravehicular activity, EVA, which is work performed outside of spacecraft in the case of a loss of cabin pressure. Spacesuits have been worn and efficient in our space travels from planetary adventures at the orbiting of the Earth to the surface of the Moon to the return trip. Modern spacesuits incorporate a complex collection of technologies and environmental systems into the basic pressure garment to keep the user comfortable and limit the effort required to flex their limbs. Typically, a self-contained oxygen supply and environmental control system offers complete independence from the spaceship. IEVA, or intra-extravehicular activity, is a spacesuit used for intravehicular and extravehicular activities. IVA suits are intended for use in a pressurized spacecraft and are thinner and cozier than traditional spacesuits. It is possible to utilize an IEVA suit inside and outside the spacecraft, such as the Gemini G4C suit. They can withstand the harsh conditions of outer space, such as micrometeoroids and abrupt temperature changes. On the other hand, EVA suits such as the EMU worn outside ships are used for spacewalks and planetary exploration. There are various spacesuits types and designs, but they are all based on the same basic concept. SpaceX suit, on the other hand, drastically alters the situation. Meanwhile, the spacesuits currently worn by astronauts on the International Space Station ISS must be updated. This could be what prompted the construction of an elite spacesuit by SpaceX in the North, and of course, they delivered. Suppose a spacesuit is something that they can only be worn in movies. In that case, it's the work of fame Hollywood costume designer Jose Fernandez. He is known for his work in blockbuster films like Wonder Woman, Wolverine, Batman vs. Superman, and Captain America The Civil War, among others. He and Elon Musk worked together on the design of the SpaceX spacesuit. The first images of the suit were made public in September 2017, after David Bowie's song of the same name, a mannequin named Starman Dunn, the SpaceX spacesuit during a Falcon Heavy's inaugural flight in February 2018. When he was first shown off at the expo, the suit had no sensors and was not pressurized. The vacuum-compatible suit prevents cabin depressurization via a single rope from the astronaut's tie, which supplies oxygen and electronic connections. The design of SpaceX spacesuits has been kept secret. Still, the company has stressed that the suits are meant to work with the giant computer panels that astronauts will use to monitor Dragon systems and navigate to the International Space Station. Each astronaut suit is a one-of-a-kind creation. 
According to NASA, the spacesuit created by SpaceX is designed to be practical, lightweight, and to offer protection from probable depressurization, among other features. Similar to the ACES suit's emergency breathing systems and capacity to pressurize entirely in the event of a cabin loss of oxygen, the suit would protect against depressurization. According to the agency, life support systems including air and power connections are connected to a single connection point on the suit's thigh. The helmet is custom manufactured using 3D printing technology. It includes integrated valve mechanisms for visor attraction and locking and microphones within the helmet structure. The 3D printed helmets with built in microphones and speakers for territorial actions are impossible with the suits because they are tethered and lack radiation protection. On board the Dragon 2 spacecraft in 2018, Astronauts Bob Benken and Doug Hurley from the NASA commercial crew performed a series of trials to become accustomed to the spacesuit. The astronauts who flew on the first crewed test mission of SpaceX Crew Dragon commented on a difference between the SpaceX suit and the other spacesuits the astronauts have worn. SpaceX suit significantly differs from those worn on shuttle missions STS-129 and STS-135 according to veteran astronaut Mark Hurley at the brief light press briefing on May 1st. During his brief stay at the International Space Station, he mentioned that his so-called suit differed from its Russian counterpart. But he also said that he never went through the suit-up process because it was utilized as a backup suit in case something went wrong. The pressurization which occurs at the spacecraft loses its air is still the primary purpose of the suit. It's an added benefit astronauts can count on their suits to provide, to keep them well oxygenated and at a comfortable body temperature all day. You can communicate and breathe through one umbilical cable attached to the seat. NASA's design do not match the spacesuits, but SpaceX rivalry must be considered. Even Boeing, the venerable firm fighting SpaceX for the privilege to fly NASA missions, is within reach. As part of its NASA contract, it developed a pressure suit to keep passengers safe during the critical launch and re-entry paces of its CST-100 Starliner spacecraft. The new Boeing blue suits are about 40% lighter for American astronauts and more flexible than earlier generations of spacesuits. To prevent astronauts from overheating, they have numerous insulation layers inside their bodies. Using tablets while in orbit is now possible because of the addition of touchscreen-sensitive gloves to the gear. The soft hood-style helmet as a wide polycarbonate visor to improve Starliner passengers' peripheral vision while traveling to and from space. Zips in the torso area will make it easier for astronauts to go from sitting to standing. Two new suits at Finesse's Artemis program were unveiled in October 2019 with a close-up look. One of the suits is the Orion Crew Survival System, identical to the suits used by SpaceX and Boeing. However, it is much lighter than astronauts' pumpkin suits on the space shuttle. On the other hand, XEMU, or Exploration Extravehicular Mobility Unit, is designed to be worn on the moon's surface. Even the pressure suits that astronauts wear on spacecraft are dwarfed by it. As a result, it must shield the user from extreme temperature changes outside the spacecraft. Micrometeorites and other small space debris are likewise protected by this. It is analogous to the spacewalking suits previously employed on the International Space Station ISS board. There are two spacewalking suits used on the board, the International Space Station. One is the Russian Orlan, which was unveiled in December 1977. There is only one piece to the Orlan spacesuit. The backpack could be opened like a refrigerator door by the spacewalkers so that they could crawl inside. The NASA Extravehicular Mobility Suit EMU developed in 1981 is the second suit deployed on board the space station. Unlike the Orland, there are two halves of the EMU, a bottom half and a top half. Outside a space vacuum, the semi-rigid suit provides around 8.5 hours of lap support. Astronauts utilize an EMU suit during the Apollo missions. However, it differed from the present design. Years of hard work have finally paid off since the first spacewalk in March 1965 near the lake. Cosmonaut Axel Leonov's spacesuit have come a long way. SpaceX Starman suit is an heir to this line of study and development because of the Chinese accomplishments and their ambition to fight the United States in an all-new space race. The fact that established industry firms still employ spacesuit technologies from the Cold War shows that SpaceX 
has put in a lot of work. However, the company appears to be keeping the suit a trade secret. SpaceX is establishing the bar, and we support it fully. That is our video for today. We hope you like it. Share all of your thoughts with us in the comments section below. Well, that's all for now. This is Big Tag Media. See you again tomorrow. Keep in mind to like, share, and subscribe.